Hey everyone, I just want to ask a quick question to my viewers, my audience, um, to help me kind of direct some future videos that I have planned for uh, my channel. One of the main things I do is, those of you who have been watching me for a while know, um, on this channel is review backpacking and camping gear. And one of the problems that I've been contending with lately with that is that some gear gets redesigned you know every year or so um, so by the time I've done really extensive long-term testing on it that piece of gear may be obsolete a perfect example <clears throat> this has been in some of my videos this is my day pack mountaineering pack stuff like that um, this is a millet pro light tour 30 and they don't make that particular pack anymore and they haven't for several years so, I mean, I could do an excellent review of it, but that's not going to help anybody if you can't go buy the pack. So, I like to get really familiar with the gear that I'm testing out and stuff before I review it, because I want my, I think that's more helpful to my audience for, you know, knowing that I've really put it through the ringer and I am really informed about giving an opinion on it. But, then we have situations like this where I've tested a piece of gear almost took too long and then it's obsolete or has been redesigned or what have you and then my review wouldn't really be valid. So the main point of the reviews is to help you guys or anybody who searches for this video or my videos that do gear reviews, um, you know, to help them make a more informed purchase. So my question to you guys is um, what you want to see in terms of the gear reviews I do on this channel. Do you want me to do, <clears throat> to basically do them after, you know, maybe being out on a few trips with them um, and just kind of give my impressions at that point with the caveat that, you know, I've been on so many trips with it. Uh, do you want me to do the really long-term reviews where some items, you know, may be obsolete? Um, an example of that would be like the Gregory Baltoro 70, uh, one of the first videos I did on this channel. And like within a few months, Gregory had released the new version for that year. So my review kind of instantly becomes uh, somewhat ir irrelevant. Um, or do you want to see, a, a compromise could be I could release two types of gear review videos. I could do like an initial impressions video when I get a new piece of gear, try it out for you know one maybe two trips and be like here's what I initially think about it and then do long-term reviews as a separate class of video where those are the pieces of gear that I've really put through the ringer and really confident in so <clears throat> you know I do these reviews for you guys so it's all up to you what you want to see so I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a comment below um, telling me you know how what what would you like to see um, as far as this dilemma of gear that gets redesigned or becomes obsolete but still getting my reviews out you know in a timely manner that they're useful to people but also not completely uninformed you know, I don't want to be another guy on YouTube who spends one night out in a tent in decent weather and you know then does a review of the tent and says how great it is so let me know what you think I'd really appreciate your opinion thanks for watching